Welcome back to another live and amplified livecast. I'm your host, Tom Quiet, and we are back at it again with another amazing podcast. Smack dab, actually, not smack dab in the middle. We are coming to the end of our 25 days of Christmas here, but we are still bringing the heat. We've got some of our favorite guests coming up, and that starts tonight with Darian Lee. How's it going? It's good. Thank you for having me. How about you? Yeah, absolutely. It's things are going good. Like th good. that's the best way I can describe it. You know, it's right. the the Christmas feelings are starting to come out. You know, it early on this month, it was just kind of like a little bit of a not a drag. I don't want to say it was a drag, but it was a little bit harder to get the feelings out. But right, it, it, it's starting to feel good. So good, good. I'm happy for you. Yeah, awesome. So, how are things uh, going with you? How's uh, um, yeah, how, how's life? It's good. It's good. I actually was just at a show earlier today. And mm. Everything's going really good. I have all these Christmas songs that we've been putting out, which has been so exciting. And it's fun to have a project happening because it's been right. a little bit. I've been kind of building up my next project. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool to have something in this intermediate time. Nice. That's awesome. I, I've really been enjoying the, the like the cup, the unique release strategy behind this. You know, it's yeah. like you, you've been doing christmas covers but you've been putting them out on youtube and social and like really building up your social presence which mm -hmm. has been really kind of cool watching thank it unfold you. and you thank know you. with the uh unique presentation of it because it's not thank just so much. you like on a guitar but it's like a really cool setting really yeah. warm and inviting so yeah i i just wanted it to feel i think all of the songs in the recording process became very classic to like the core of christmas mm. so i'm talking like the original christmas yeah. music or like yeah. or just like nostalgic of like the judy garland christmas mm. songs and and i just wanted the rooms to just feel real i didn't mm. want them to feel too picture perfect or too anything and although they do look very picture perfect they feel like a hallmark, hallmark movie and i love it <laughs> but i just wanted everything to feel just like nice and like make you feel nice when you're watching it nice. not too much not too little yeah for sure and so right now you have, as we're recording this, which is the 14th of December, you have three out, three I videos? Out? Yeah. Uh, do you have another one coming or how, yes. what's kind of the release strategy behind this? Actually, I, I'll just tell you the whole thing. I have okay. two for next week. Okay. Um, so then it kind of, people get the chance to actually see it before Christmas comes and goes, because I feel like the holiday goes by so fast with all the mm. hustle and bustle you know we spend all month preparing for it and then it you like experience christmas and it's so joyful but when it's when christmas is through you kind of have that like sigh of relief i wanted to hit yeah. everybody before they had that sigh of relief with the christmas music yeah that, that was always that's always been the thing about christmas and the holidays because it's like you go you have christmas eve and it's cool it's fun you know you're with yeah. you're doing whatever you do on christmas eve and then you wake up in the morning and most people exchange gifts or whatever they do on Christmas Day. And after Christmas morning, it's like, huh. It, yeah. It's it's it, it's weird. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's like it's an emotional roller coaster sometimes <laughs> because I think you get so used to how magical it felt when you were so little. Mm -hmm. And then you get old and you're like, okay, so the magic behind this feeling so special was my parents and like how mm -hmm. they would make it for us. Mm -hmm. And and everybody's family does Christmas and just the holidays in general so differently. Yeah. And I think it's really, really beautiful that like everybody yeah. has this different way of celebrating and some people celebrate different things. And yeah. I just think it's really cool how everybody does it, but it is weird how unanimously as you get older and you, you know, you move out, you're mm -hmm. developing your life where you already have, mm -hmm. it's different until it yeah. seems like that I've heard from some of my friends like for them they're like oh the magic is back because we have kids yeah and it is weird like in your adulthood to be in that like realizing how much your parents did to make yeah. the holiday so special oh yeah it, it's it's one of those things that my family is kind of currently going through is we're trying to figure out what that new Christmas is for us yeah. because you know like I live out in Texas and so I'm kind of doing my own thing my sister's married with a kid. The uh, the kid just turned one, so she's oh, starting to kind of so fun. Yeah, she she's starting to kind of understand. I mean, this year she's still a little too young, but in right. the next year or two, she'll it's really so start exciting to understand. Yeah, to like see their excitement and our, how happy they are. That's like yeah. the best part of the holidays. Yeah, for sure. And so we're we're just trying to figure it all out. It's like we want to be together, but my dad, since my mom passed, he's got a new 
new fiance girlfriend whatever it is in his life so like they got to do their thing and it's like you know there, there's a little bit of give and take so right right it is a lot of that too it's everybody kind of trying their very best to compromise yeah for sure for sure so um w- with the three songs you have out now and the two that you'll be releasing here in the next week or so How'd you kind of go through the process of selecting those songs? Were these just songs that were your favorite or is there like more of a thought behind it? Yeah. Um, For me, it was really a process of what are the songs that feel like I cannot go through the Christmas season without listening to. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's some that are very much so what you'd assume I would Mm -hmm. do um, because everybody listens to him. But I also kind of wanted to invite like more of myself into the songs too because i do love christmas it's one of my favorite holidays and so finding the songs was actually really easy for me but it was really hard to not just want to do like 10 more yeah just at once like because even now i'm listening to songs like next year i need to do that one next year i have to do that one i did all the staples next year we got to do that one right it could have very easily went from five songs just like a really chilled out project uh okay 25 songs we're doing 25 days of christmas yep. it's going to be great it's going to be insane but it's going to be amazing right and that would be such a vibe yeah <laughs> now i'm like be, i wonder if i can do 25 days <laughs> it, it'd be so stress like it, that, that's kind of so that's what spawned this podcast idea was doing 25 days and i've tried to do it the past two years but it was always like november 28th and it's like, oh, hey, we should do a 25 days of Christmas. And then I'm like scrambling to figure it out. And yeah. it's like, okay, it's not going to work. And then this yeah. year I was like, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to start November 1st and start planning it out and all that. And yeah, here we sit. That's awesome. So That's so awesome. Yeah. But it's a, uh, I, I could very easily see this music project, like this specific project of yours turning into like a 25 days of Christmas thing. I know. Cause it's so fun. It mm-hmm. like having the, i don't know i just genuinely enjoyed releasing all of them and i mm-hmm. was doing some like behind the scenes work last week with the final few and i was like wow this is actually really bittersweet like i i don't want these weeks to go by so fast mm-hmm. i want to like really sit in them um which is such a blessing to be able to feel that way a hundred percent so where did you shoot all these videos is this like your your place or were you just kind of finding different places to shoot all this yeah so we got very very creative Mm. um and i shot actually at my videographer's place and we Mm. just i had made a bunch of mood boards to try to make things a little different um and the whole goal was like let's just film this very beautifully and very simply Mm -hmm. and keep as much as I could have gone crazy elaborate with backdrops and right. and just had a field day with it. We did want this to specifically me, I did want this to be very like just easily obtainable. Like mm-hmm. we could do it and it wasn't gonna be this huge, huge, huge mm-hmm. production. Um, as much as I would love that. I just yeah. wanted to keep it simple because this is the first time that I've done this many in one year. I had done I used to do my own. I used to shoot mm-hmm. them all, f- film them and do everything yeah. live on the spot. Yeah. And it was so much fun, but it was really hard to be the person that's like directing is also in the yeah. shoot, is catching the angles, doing the lighting, everything. I had help, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and it just felt like the entire project has just been so easy. We got into some time crunches here and there, but the entire yeah. process was, was truly just easy. And I appreciated mm-hmm. that. And not easy in the way of like, oh you know we could have done more things to make it Mm -hmm. harder to do but it was just like an easy smooth rolling process and i think sometimes you get so wrapped up in it all that it becomes complicated but everybody around me was so chill with all of it and i was very like free to do whatever and i don't know i'm I'm very proud that we kept everything very just like chill we weren't stressing to go find extra places to go film every single video and it was really fun Nice. Yeah, because that one of the things that I noticed watching the videos was it, it, it's all done really well. Like the video, whoever shot your stuff, amazing, absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah. And then Justin Maya, yeah, the uh, and the, so like everything was really well done. And obviously, planning all that isn't easy. Like that, I think that having shot videos and all that stuff, the planning part is what makes or breaks how 
quote unquote easy it's going to be right yeah, if yeah, you exactly. if you go in with a, an idea and you stick to that idea the planning part was the hardest part and then shooting it and getting it right in camera is mm -hmm. like the most important part and then it just makes the editing like super easy because it's right. like okay everything was done right and now we just got to kind of put it yeah, together so that's exactly right it's uh it's one of those things that i think a lot of people a lot of creatives in general just kind of overlook is that planning is the yeah, most important and, and part. it was a lot of planning it, there's a lot that goes into it but it we were able to keep everything very chill and i guess that probably starts purely from like my attitude with it i just yeah. wanted to have fun with it and yeah. w when somebody has that attitude towards it specifically like if it is your project it changes everything just like yeah. an easygoing attitude it's so much more fun when you have that oh yeah like, for sure easygoing with direction yeah it, it's one of those things where you you don't have any high expect you have expectations of getting the video done obviously but you don't have any high expectations of you know like oh this has got to be absolutely perfect and you you just kind of let the video be what it's going to be yeah and yeah so yeah that, that's sure. really cool um so as you're kind of, as we're recording this, you're in the middle of the releasing process. You know, you still got two more, two more to go. What's kind of running through your mind right now? Where's your head at? Yeah, honestly, I'm, I've just been thinking about how much fun it is. And like I said, like a few weeks ago when I was slating everything out and getting, every, mm -hmm. getting everything ready, we had already had two out at that time. Mm -hmm. I was, it felt very, very bittersweet. Yeah. Like I was a little bit sad that there was only a few more to go for sure it, it's one of those things where you it's a project and you just kind of fall in love with the process of making mm -hmm. them and then when it's done it's just kind of like huh this was so special i want to make more yeah but in the back of your mind you know it's like well it may not be the same so why ruin you know kind of yeah. this feeling that we've had right so um so with this being a christmas podcast I have some very specific Christmas questions I need answers okay. to. Okay. I'm ready to give you answers to them. Okay. How much Christmas shopping do you still have left to do? I have done a vast majority of it, but I do mm -hmm. have to finish um, our nieces and our okay. parents. We have to get their gifts Fair. figured out. Outside Fair. of that, I've pretty much got most of it done. Fair, fair, I did a fair. lot of sales shopping. I kept finding yeah. sales and I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. that That's where I started. And then a lot of my stuff got mixed up in the mail or it was on back order. Like I ordered my sister's husband something and I got an email today like, hey, this is on back order. And I'm like, okay. Oh, that's annoying. And they're like, it's not going to be here till like mid January. And I'm like, all right, well, cancel my order. Give him my money back. So now I got to go find him a gift, another right. gift. See, and, the best thing about that is people started just printing off like what they're supposed to be giving someone and just giving them that so they can still have it. And I love right. it. It's funny. That's hilarious. I love it. And then um, what is your go-to Christmas movie? Ooh, I've been trying to watch a Christmas movie every night or like mm -hmm. whenever I'm yeah. sitting down, like it is yeah. Christmas, just to try to like, again, yeah. when you're an adult, Christmas is different. Right. Um, I was talking about this with some people yesterday. I love the original, like the first Santa Claus movie. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so nostalgic. I remember watching yeah. it all the time when I was little. Home Alone is always a classic. Yeah. Um, I was in the play version of, what's it called? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life when I was okay. in high school. And gotcha. I'm looking forward to watching that one tomorrow because it's just, nice. I don't know. I love that movie. It's a classic. That's awesome. That's I, I usually wait till I go to my grandma's house to watch It's a Wonderful Life because she's usually always watching it. It's not it's not a movie that was ingrained in me as a kid to watch yeah. all the time. Yeah, my, but, me either. Yeah. And so uh, but the last few years, my grandma's always been watching it. So it's like, OK, I know if I go over there, like you'll Christmas watch it with her. Yeah, yeah, that's really special. I so. can quote a vast majority of the movie Elf because that was my favorite movie. I still yeah. love that movie. Yeah. But growing up, that was like my continuous watch numerous times before christmas comes maybe an af even after like, right right i right. can I, there are very few movies that i can quote just because i just don't like memorize right. it but yeah. and i had i know people that like 
can quote an entire movie top to bottom and like blows my mind. Right. Um, but I can do that for that movie. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. And there, there are some recent ones that have come out that are pretty good yeah. that, uh, you know, like that HBO Max and like Paramount Plus are putting out that are really yeah. good. And so those they have been put out a second Christmas story that is actually yep. really good. Yeah. It's well, so te good. technically, it's a th the third story. But oh, is it really? Yeah. So you got the original one, and then this one is technically a direct sequel. They did an offshoot one back in the mid 2000s, like 2009, 2012, somewhere in that ballpark. And it's like Ralphie, it's Christmas when he turned 16. Like he had just turned 16 or something. Interesting. And it's, it's not good. I'm going to just say, say it does, it, it, if I've never heard of it, it must not yeah. have been like a yeah, it, it's the charts movie. That's it, it's not good, but I, I've watched it once or twice. They try and hit those magical moments from the first one, and it's like, right. nah. They I'm did good. a really, really good job in yeah. the most recent one, though. It it yeah. is actually like, it's so well made, and I tell everybody that all the time. Like, yeah. it doesn't feel too easy to assume what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it, I actually really genuinely enjoyed it. And I didn't think I was going to. I thought it was going to yeah. be like that. I didn't even know yeah. there was a second one. Yeah. So I guess the third one, yeah, I yeah. it was great. Would recommend. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. It, it, like, I've always had an affinity for that movie because that movie's based on the area where I grew up. Right. So, like, where they're at. And it's like, okay. So, like, the, they changed the names because like some of the cities and whatnot had issues with it. So it's like, mm. okay, but we know like the way they did it. It's like, Oh, I know exactly where they're at. That's funny. Right. So that's cool. Oh, um, and then the final Christmas question that I need an answer to. Gotcha. What is your favorite Christmas memory as a child? Oh my gosh. Hmm. My parents did such a good job making Christmas always feel so special. Mm -hmm. I always just loved like the waking up and like the excitement mm -hmm. um, or uh, my brothers. I'm the youngest of four. Mm -hmm. So my brothers had, had kind of like had those adult ish realizations. Yeah. lying in bed trying so hard to sleep and that's i'm sure funny. i probably convinced myself well enough to fall asleep like that but yeah that's we funny. also spent a christmas in hawaii when i was really little which was so much fun really that's yeah see i don't think i could ever do that like i, I when i was a kid i was so into the traditions of going Fair. to my aunt's house on christmas eve going to my grandma's house christmas day and it's like had had that diverted in any kind of way it was going right. to be like yeah yeah, that's fair. We had like an entire side of one over the sides of our family there. Mm -hmm. So we kind of got to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really grateful that my parents did that during that time because it it kind of feels like there's less pressure mm -hmm. to like continue. Like obviously the traditions are very special, but mm -hmm. I love that they showed us at such a young age that it's okay to like do something different yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It, it's so much fun. And that is one of my favorite Christmases is there. We like built a snow castle or a nice. sand castle <laughs> all night long before New Year's Eve. And like, we had the best time. It was so much fun. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, man, that that had to be just like an interesting change of pace. Yeah. It, well, especially going from like northern Minnesota to Hawaii. <laughs> right. It's completely different, but it is so it was so much fun. Right. And are you going uh, back to Minnesota for Christmas this year? Or are you staying? What? I'm staying in Tennessee this year, okay. but uh, we're seeing family right after the new year. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. Um, so if anybody wants to check out the, the, uh, the cover project, that, that's the word <laughs> I'm looking for. I'm like, what's the word? No, that's the worst wants, feeling ever. <laughs> it, uh, if anybody wants to check out this Christmas cover project that you're doing or any of your other music, uh, where's the best place to find you? 
yeah so you can go to my website darianlee.com or you can go on all my socials at Darian Lee. I also post the full video on my YouTube channel first. So if you want to see it first, you can go to my YouTube channel. I share that link on all of my socials. Nice. But yeah, everything is at Darian Lee. YouTube, my website's DarianLee.com. All of my socials are at Darian Lee. So there's plenty of places to find it. I also have some Christmas stickers and things, some new merch nice. I put out. Um, you can find on DarianLee.com as well for any Sweet. last minute Christmas shopping. Awesome. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas, all the fun stuff. And uh, thank you everybody for tuning in and we'll catch y'all later.